the two to bite. Surprise! How little I know, but go. Okay. Ahead. Anyway, oh, we never talked, by the way, about the oh, difference no, between please. Jeff and the dude. Who did the two of us meet? I feel like we might have met at Sundance a long time ago. Is that possible? It's most possible. Probable. <laughs> possibly on a chairlift. That's possible. Possibly beating our way into a party. That's possible. Uh, I know we met again here at a Bernie event. Of course, I remember that. Um, yeah. But uh, but I know we you know we had been Facebook friends for years and years and I and we met someone but uh, I don't know who it was. Sad it's even that. worse when you run into truly beautiful, swellant Renaissance women and you don't remember when you met them. Okay, you know. Mm -hmm. One 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 was the last time that happened to you. Mm -hmm. This That's morning. <laughs> <laughs> so do you make up a story? Do you say, actually, it was no? I no. just I just go with the flow. Right. Right. Uh, that's not surprising. Um, but unfortunately, unlike you, I'm not a musician. But I like to hang with musicians. You know, I, when I was 17, I was fortunate enough with my stepbrother to be traveling around Europe with the Rolling Stones on concert in the studio and stuff like that. So, how and how that, did you manage to? What was the connection? That's, a, that's a classic tale. It's one of our classic tales, which we can talk about later. Okay. Uh, you yeah. sure you want to do it now? We can cut up, you know. Yeah, we can do, we can do it later. But classic we, tales we, is going to be a we show met, that he's. We met him. We met him in Bologna, Italy, when we were there. So this is at the point when you know we were only seventeen. We thought these were old guys. They were actually only twenty-two. Actually, writing a song now that we'll be doing called "Step by Step" about how we can step by step change our future. Have you met the uh, the compost guru out in um, in Altadena? No. He's a guy who. Is, is he full of shit? He is, but in the right way. He's he actually has such a giant mound of manure and compost and and active living dirt that the city was complaining that the heat generated by his compost pile was causing problems for his neighbors. The extra. Do you want me to do it? You can no. point at my belly button. Yeah, I mean, step by step. You want to talk about that concept of changing the world step by step? Because I know, for, for me, it feels like step by step it works, and then you hit a wall where you need to, you need a power drill or a bulldozer or at least a ladder to get over the wall. Step by step sometimes feels like it doesn't work. But what do you think? I mean, we, well, we are facing a wall right now. We are and we aren't. You know, the, the, this is, I'm more optimistic right now than I've ever been in my life about social change. Even with all the very scary and heavy and some of the Trump stuff and a lot of that stuff going on. Not some of the Trump stuff, a lot of it, okay? Um, and the reason I'm optimistic is, you know, back in the day, in the 60s and 70s, there was great cultural change and political change, but not systemic change per se. Mm -hmm. Right now, every system is in motion. Transportation is changing. Energy is changing. Communication is changing. Health is changing. Finance is changing, systemically. So the question is, which way will that go? How bad can it be? How good can it be? Mm -hmm. and, and, and frankly, there's models throughout the world, sometimes a mile away, of people who have addressed those things and made great systemic changes you know, that are sustainable, et cetera, et cetera. So are we going to go to where the opportunists are going who kind of live in the past right. and try to, you know, sh you know, milk the last out of oil and stuff like that when they know full well and have invested $20 yeah. billion dollars in alternate energy systems that are going to try to opportunize that? Yeah, or are we going to do, you know, together show models that work, okay? Mm -hmm. and, and, and well, Sh Shell apparently just yesterday said that they're pulling out of their investment in uh, Keystone because not because they suddenly got uh, you know moral about it, but because economically it's not making sense for them. Now, when you have you know Germany moving towards 92 percent you know sustainable energy, and they've got rid of nukes, and they have more cloud cover than Seattle. You know, it shows what's possible, and that's also shown in many communities in America, okay? So the point is, if we can show models, mm -hmm. 
of what's happening right now that people can emulate, copy elsewhere. And there's so much great systemic change. So paradoxically, as Huxley said, the truth lies at both extremes at once, often side by side.